In short high-profile campaigner and grieving mother Julianne Finney tells Royal Commission how her son David was medically discharged from the Navy against his will before he later by suicide. High-profile campaigner and grieving mother Julianne Finney tells the Royal Commission that her son David was medically discharged from the Navy against his will before he later by suicide. The Royal Commission's focus on defense veteran suicide will narrow to questions of responsibility and leadership within the force-related agencies as the hearings continue in Melbourne according to his mother, Julianne Finney. He was popular, smart, full of stories and surrounded by friends. He recalled that shortly before the birth of his son in 2007, he was shining with happiness. But the sudden death of Mr. Finney's younger son combined the traumatic workplace situations associated with refugees, set in motion a series of serious mental health issues that Ms. Finney said her son's employer was unable to deal appropriately. David Finney by suicide two years after being medically discharged from the Navy. If you're in distress, this family they pretend to be is not going to be there at all. He said. His friends cared. But as a workplace, no one cared. Ms. Finney's heartbreaking statement regarding her son's eventual suicide opens the final block of Hearings before the Royal Defence and Veterans Suicide Commission, which continues today in Melbourne. The death propelled Ms. Finney to become one of the most high-profile campaigners for a high-profile investigation into defensive suicides. He attended all hearings of the Royal Commission and lobbied for the removal of parliamentary privilege protections which he said prevented commission members from investigating some reports and similar issues that were considered parliamentary hearings, initially resisting his and others' calls. Former Morrison government set up the Royal Commission in 2021 to investigate high suicide rates in military community. Taking the stand today, Ms. Finney accused the police of destroying and eliminating its soldiers. She said that son was eventually taken off the Navy ships. The beginning of getting rid of David. As she put it. Medically discharged against her will. And that the process destroyed soul. Ms. Finney said there was a cone of silence when she referred to her life in 2016 and she was left. In the dark about her son's health. She was medically discharged and admitted to a mental health facility in 2017. Following another attempt on her life, Ms. Finney told the commission he was about to die in the hospital. And they signed the discharge papers. He signed them. And they walked away. And that left my son in his hospital bed with no one to pick him up. Nowhere to go because the defense is not responsible. How can you leave someone who has attempted suicide in a hospital bed and walk away? Would you definitely walk away? Mr. Finney by suicide about two years later at